What's going on everybody? This is Mason. You're tuning into the YouTube channel Wasatch Pop. Guys, I hope you're having a fantastic day, fantastic week. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video. For those of you who didn't know, I was in California this past week, guys. And if you haven't checked out the last video at the Bands for Arms Pop Meet, there is some really cool pops to check out there. So definitely check out that video before watching this one. But guys, this is a continuation of that trip. Nick and then a couple of other guys we went with, went, we went to a couple of really cool Funko Pop shops that were in the area. I believe it was comics and anime and uh, Noah was the one that we met there. So shout out to you. And then we also went over to my awesome collectibles and they had some insanely crazy pops, just like walls and walls of pop guys, such a cool store. So I am very excited to show off both of those kind of little bit of hidden gem places if you didn't know about them, but still regardless, they had some awesome stuff. But let's go check it out. Here we go. Let's get the video started. What's up guys? So we are done with the Bands for Arms pop meet. So we're gonna go to a couple of different stores, pop hunting and everything. We're gonna start off with comics and anime. As you guys can see, a little bit of a sneak preview. They have a bunch of different stuff that's in here. So I wanna show off some of the grails obviously and maybe some other new stuff that I find interesting. So like I said, we're here with Nick from the Bands for Arms shop. And um, yeah, we're gonna look around and see if we can find anything cool. So as you walk in guys, you're gonna see a good selection of pops. So it looks like these are more of your common stuff right here. So $10 each. Looks like you're gonna find more of your grail stuff that's over there as well. And I believe if you keep walking over here, you're gonna find some more comics as well. Cause obviously, you know, comics and anime, that's the title of the shop. So you definitely are gonna find this stuff here. But uh, tons of pops guys. I mean, just check out their massive selection of stuff. So many cool things. And like I said, when I find something cool, I'm gonna point it out to you, but I just wanted to give you a little view of the shop first before I kind of dive into everything. Okay, so I kind of came back here, guys, and we're gonna take a look around at all the stuff. So it looks like what he was telling me, some of their more, a little bit higher end exclusives are gonna be back here. So I'm kind of taking a look to see if there's anything that, you know, th th that I'm looking for, or anything that I wanna point out back here. Looks like, that one piece pop is pretty cool. We got a Loki kind of just panning through everything, guys. You can kind of pause and see if there's anything that you guys are looking for. Uh, but yeah, that stitch is pretty cool as well. Some of those new Yu-Gi-Oh pops with that sticker. That's definitely a cool one. Yeah, kind of coming through here. That's definitely a cool one. The Aang on the air scooter. I think that's a Hot Topic exclusive normally. Also, the Snake Man at Arms is definitely an awesome one too. But yeah, guys, we're going to make our way back here and kind of look at all the different other exclusives he has. Okay guys, for all you anime fans out here, this is definitely the place to be because look at all these different cool exclusives. And definitely, I know that there's a lot of Demon Slayer fans out there. Me personally, I, I don't know much about Demon Slayer, but I know that there's a lot of people that love it. So they've got plenty of these awesome pops. I think this one's cool. This uh, glow in the dark Tanjiro, I think that's how you, is it Tanjiro, right? Is that how you say it? Yeah. Okay, all right. Normally that's a box lunch exclusive, correct? Right, right. Okay. Yeah, I've seen the glow on this one. This is definitely a really cool one, guys. So if you're looking for any, any of these, definitely stop by the shop because there's plenty of really cool anime pops. We got a couple of sodas that they're gifting me here. I actually haven't seen Carl yet, but this is, uh, is it Banana Splits, right? That Snorky is from? Yeah, so this is the Banana Splits Snorky. So let's open these up and I'll show you these real quick. All right, so we got Carl Fredrickson Snorky out. I, I love this Carl, guys. I love the details on it. I love the little tennis balls that you can see on the bottom right there. That is freaking sweet. Lots of cool detail. I, I love it when sodas have awesome detail, and this is definitely one of them for sure. Okay, I just wanted to show you a couple of cool things. Some older Disney Pops. I love this original Wally. This is probably one of my favorite original Disney Pops. It was a part of the line, guys, as you can see from like Series 4. So you got like Goofy, Tigger, Grumpy, some of those ones that are on there. But I know that this is one that they've remade a couple of times. But still, I mean, if you can get it remade and you can buy it now, why not do it? Actually, a couple pops that I noticed, guys, that are a new one. This Post Malone is really cool. I think this is from a music video, if I'm not mistaken. I do listen to Post Malone, but I'm not 100% sure which one this is from. But that is definitely a cool one for sure. I'm trying to see. Oh, yeah, this Pennywise. I think this might be a reprint. Yeah, it's got that new Funko kind of logo, like the barcode on the bottom. But original Pennywise, that is one that you definitely see don't see very often. But 
yeah, I'll keep looking around, guys. Definitely some fun stuff. A good selection of commons and then some anime exclusives in here. But if I notice anything else, I'll let you guys know. But I think as of right now, that might do it for this shop. All right, guys, stop number two, awesome collectibles. I heard this store is really cool. Nick was telling me about it, so I'm excited to see what awesome stuff they have in here. Okay, guys, so I'm starting at the end of the store, but the, I mean, just check out all of the awesome stuff. There's like this giant wall. There's like at least three grail cabinets back here. Holy crap, guys. I'm going to be in here for a minute looking at things, but like I said, we'll, we'll definitely check out the grails and highlight all those for you because that's, that's what we do when we go and visit the shops and everything like that. But... Yeah, Let, let's take a look around and I'll, I'll point out to you if I see anything cool. You guys know that I'm a big cartoon guy, so I got to show off Samurai Jack. I love me some Samurai Jack. So there's that Cartoon Network DD. That is definitely a cool one too. Whew. Guys, there is just so much to take in here. It's absolutely insane. Oh my gosh. I, I just want to look at everything and make sure I'm not missing anything first. Because I mean, I'm, I'm looking at the camera right here and I'm like... I don't know, I feel like I'm missing a ton of stuff, so I'll keep looking around. Okay, I know this is kind of random, guys, but I actually might buy this one right here. So this is Strawberry Gerald. This is one of the Hey Arnold ones that I actually need. I need Banana Arnold and Strawberry Gerald. So uh, I think I might actually pull the trigger on this one. I know it's kind of random, but I think I might pick it up. I guess while I'm over here and there's nobody over here, let's check out the Grail case that they have here, guys. So there's definitely a good amount of Marvel and DC stuff that's in here. So we have like a Black Light Carnage, which is really cool. That Wolverine, which is awesome. Just kind of looking at everything, guys. There's so many different cool stuff. You got some Star Wars stuff mixed in there. Have that Tapatio box, which I showed off in my last video. That Boba Fett, which is one, I, if it depends on when I actually debut my auction, is one that I actually have in my auction. So. Keep an eye out for that. Also, the Ghost Rider is in my auction as well. But tons of NBA grails in there. That Ricky Rubio looks so funny to me, guys. I don't know why. Some of those old NBA pops are kind of wonky, but they still have a really cool nostalgic feel to them. But, yeah, we got some Big Bang Theory pops in there. Jeremy Lin's down there. But uh, just take this all in. Some original. That Penguin's really cool. Definitely a cool case for sure. All right, guys, I don't know if I'm gonna get copyrighted while I'm in here, but I'm gonna start at this grail wall. So I was over at that end on the other side. As you can see, there's Nick over there, so shout out to him. But uh, yeah, let's take a look at some of this stuff in here. I love the SpongeBob Pops, guys. So we got Squidward, which is one that I need to pick up. I don't know if I'm gonna get it today, but that is definitely cool. And the gold SpongeBob, some of the original Matrix Pops, that metallic Raphael, woo, that's a good one. What is that? 1,008 piece limited. That is really cool. We have the uh, Wiley Coyote and Roadrunner. I love those pops. Johnny Bravo, you guys know I'm a sucker for cartoons, so had to highlight those ones. Alan and Baby Carlos, that is awesome. Another metallic turtle. Holy cow, guys, some ad icons. I don't even own a Tony of the, ti Tony of the, of the Tiger. I don't own any Tony Tiger pops, so those are definitely ones that I wish I picked up back in the day. Those are really cool. The Sour Patch Kid, the limited piece one, the Monsters, Elvis. Oh my goodness, guys. The heat in this cabinet is absolutely insane. Just just take it in, guys. Just, just take a moment to appreciate all the cool pops that are in here. It's awesome. Man, our way back to this wall, guys, and there is definitely a lot to take in. Like, there's so many cool pops. I guess as while we're here, Lucy Van Pelt's definitely cool, and I started kind of dabbling a little bit into the... Uh, the peanuts pop so that is one that i need so maybe we'll think about getting that one but um yeah if you just kind of pause and take a look at everything it, it's it's honestly hard to take in everything and make sure that i'm not missing anything for you guys a bunch of freddies right there love that wilma that is a cool one but i'll just kind of slowly pan over so you guys don't miss anything garfield is a cool one the original philly fanatic you guys know i love mlb mascots as well oh my gosh guys this is ridiculous original daphne i've been slowly trying to get all the scooby-doo pops i need to get that one steve van dorn's a cool one the guy that invented vans if you didn't know he has a couple of pops so that is definitely a cool one oh my goodness guys wallace that that's really actually wallace is one that has gone up recently that's up there from wallace and gromit surprisingly kind of crazy oh my goodness guys i just feel like I feel like I'm missing a lot of things because there's just so many cool pops in here. Oh, there's some of the original turtles. Those are cool. But uh, 
yeah, guys. Ho hopefully, at least I, I did this wall justice, at least trying to cover some of the stuff. All right, guys, last grail case over here. So let's take a look and see what's in here. Looks like a bunch of really good Disney stuff. So like Syndrome, Jafar, Chernabog, the hat box ghost. My goodness, guys, definitely a good one. Scar, the Pluto train, which is another good one. Goofy, Mr. Toad, if we can get some footage of that solely. Jeez, guys, oh my goodness. Original Zerg, Mr. Incredible, Jolly Rogers, really awesome. All the other Haunted Mansion pops, Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh my goodness, guys, this is absolutely insane. I love the Space Jam pops. Scare Glow is a really cool glow in the dark pop. The heat, unreal, guys. This place is awesome. I mean, it's in the title Awesome Collectibles, spot on name. Really cool place. All right guys, I'm back. So I don't really have much that I bought. I do have a couple of things that, and a couple shout outs that I wanna give. So Noah from Comics and Anime was awesome and he gifted me both of these sodas. So big shout out to you. I know that you're a big viewer of the channel and everything and I, I appreciate this. I'm sorry that I didn't have any stickers for you, but reach out to me, we'll, we'll get you covered on that end. But uh, what, a couple of these are really cool. So these are both new sodas. I wanna show off both of them to you real quick. But this was definitely before my time so I don't know much about it, but this is Snorkel. Orky from Banana Split. So I think there's like a like four different characters that are along this. And I think they're actually coming out with black light sodas of these here pretty soon, if I'm not mistaken, that are pretty limited piece. But uh yeah, definitely a new soda nonetheless. I think if I it was the chase, it would have been flocked. And this is probably my favorite out of the two that he gifted me. We have Carl Fredrickson from Up. Look how cool that soda is, guys. Such fun details. I love, you know, the little tennis balls that is on his little, uh, like, little cane or walker that he has right there. Oh, oh my gosh. I, I, I wouldn't have thought that sodas would have so much detail, but check that bad boy out. And if I was to get the chase, it would be him as a little kid with, you know, his little aviation goggles on and everything like that. But, um, yeah, definitely a really cool soda. So shout out, you know, to Noah and that shop definitely if you're in the area and you're around that mall definitely go and check them out my awesome collectibles what a store guys that was insane they had so many cool pops i had kind of bought a lot of stuff from the pop meet and there wasn't really anything that i was specifically looking for at least that i wanted i mean obviously there were some good pieces that i'm like dang that would be cool to add but nothing necessarily that i was 100 wanting except for this guy right here pretty cheap nonetheless but i got it for like 10 bucks this is the strawberry gerald from hey arnold this is the gamestop exclusive and if you guys didn't know there's also a banana arnold that is an exclusive uh, to GameStop that came as a pair. So I figured, you know, it's a low end pop. Some of these Nickelodeon ones are kind of harder to find, even though they're not like super expensive. So if I can ever find them in person and get a good deal, you know, a good price on them, I'll, I'll pick them up, why not? But if you guys are also in the area, I can't remember where it was located, but I'll have all their information down below. Crazy shop, definitely go and check it out if you're interested into like grail pieces and older things like that. They had tons of really great stuff. But yeah guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I definitely do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below from the two kind of hidden gem shops that we went to, what was your favorite thing that I got footage of? I think for me, might've been those Haunted Mansion ghosts that were in that display cabinet and my awesome collectibles. That was probably my favorite thing, but let me know in the comment section below what your favorite thing was. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content like this one. Let me know guys in the comment section below, what are some good pop meets or maybe even some good shops that I need to visit next that I should have on my radar and travel to. I am always open for suggestions, but thank you guys so much for watching again. You are awesome and the best like always remember to be kind of one another and always promote positivity. I will see you in the next video. Catch you guys later.